guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if it's your first time stopping here make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime i upload a video so guys um it's 2019 and africans are killing Af other africans like this is crazy so um there's this xenophobia going on um in south africa actually how it started was that um they claim an alleged Nigerian drug dealer. I don't know why they are tagging the person as a drug dealer. But they claim there's this Nigerian who shot and killed um, a South African driver. So South Africans got angry and they started attacking other Nigerians in South Africa. Like, okay, so what happened? I don't really know the full story um, behind this whole thing and what caused um the nigerian to shoot and kill um a south african driver i don't know the argument that went on so south africans got pissed off got angry and they started killing nigerians <sighs> so um it got serious and this is what the deputy minister of police had to say just listen to what he had to say about this whole incident going on arises and uh, we must investigate also what is the law of South Africa says how can a city in South Africa be 80% foreign nationals that is dangerous that in Hillbro and the surrounding areas South Africans have surrendered mm -hmm. their own city mm -hmm. to the foreign nationals. The nation should discuss that particular question. Mm -hmm. You won't find South Africans in other countries dominating a city into 80%. Because if we do not debate that, that necessarily means the whole South Africa mm -hmm. could be 80% dominated by foreign nationals and the future president of South Africa could be a foreign national. Mm -hmm. We are surrendering our land mm -hmm. and, 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 and it is not xenophobia yeah. to talk truth. We fought for this land mm -hmm. from a white minority. We cannot surrender it to the foreign nationals. That is a matter of principles. We fought for this country, not only for us, for the generations of South Africans. The arms that are being used here in Hillbro are arms of war, which are unlicensed. The hijacking of buildings <coughs> here in Hillbro is a sign of taking over power. The question of dominance of foreign nationals in illegal trading and also businesses that are here in Hillbro is an economic sabotage that is taking place against our people that were supposed to be those that are running those particular businesses. We are facing here service delivery protests. So I don't know whether it's ignorance or I don't just know what is wrong with this this man. Like, how can you say that you won't find 80% of South Africans somewhere else. Okay, even if you won't find 80% of South Africans anywhere else, but why are you killing your fellow Africans? Okay, you claim um, they are there, they are competing with you for all these resources and all this stuff. But honestly, um, as Trevor Noah said, um, those you should be fighting against are the white people that own the lands um, and all, like, that own, like, most of the properties in South Africa. Fellow Africans, when they come there, they come to hustle. They are coming to get money to be able to feed their family and all these things. So why would you fight and kill the same people that are hustling with you when you claim they are taking your resources? The people that are actually taking your resources are those that own your land and your properties in South Africa. 
no for hardly do foreigners own properties in south africa you can go and read this whole post trevor noah did and he's trying to explain to his fellow africans that they are fighting the wrong enemy like no seriously you are actually fighting the wrong enemy Nigerians got angry obviously and they also started attacking south african companies in nigeria like mtn multi-choice um and some of their malls shop rides and all those they've like scattered the place they've um i have one of the buildings they've bent it down just take a look at these videos that is going on like nigerians are destroying these properties but the funny thing is that um news reaching news going on in social media is that um actually some of the properties nigerians are destroying are owned by nigerians so let's look at this cycle south africans are killing nigerians or, and other africans and nigerians um are destroying other nigerian properties like i i don't just just take a look at this video <laughs> Um, taxi drivers in Tanzania, Mozambique, Congo, Namibia, like they um, they responded by saying that they are not going to allow any South African taxi driver to cross their border. If South Africans want to be alone, they claim they want they don't want foreigners in their land, they don't want their fellow brothers and sisters from Africa to live with them and work with them then um, what they are also saying is that they are not going to allow south african drivers to cross their border this is what they had to say look at their watch their video our brothers suffer in different countries so what we need now you have to understand what we need now we're going to to send the message to you South africans especially you who are the one who intervene you are the one who's intervening me, you are from South Africa, you tell your colleagues there in South Africa. Yes. We don't like this shit which is happening. Yeah. Yes, and yes. then what we are going to do, you. Yeah. we are owning you in a polite way. Yeah. You are here, you are not in South Africa. Right? If we do the it's way they are doing there, how are you going to feel? So you have to know, tell your people, we are going to do in this way. No South African driver who going to cross these countries, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Botswana, Namibia, Malawi, Mozambique, Tanzania, Congo, nothing. We don't want to drive drivers from there. If they want, let them drive up to the border, they park the truck, they employ, employ another driver to drive to these countries. It's what we're going to do, 50-50. And the other thing, the employers, there is this port, Mozambique port, there is Namibia port there. Tanzania port, why they don't use this port? We want South Africa to know what they are doing. It's rubbish. No one likes that. Shit. Yeah, we, want them, we want them to realize that no man is an island. Yeah, yeah no man is an island. And uh, what they're doing, their actions are going to are gonna have some se serious repercussions against them. Yeah, we won. We all Africans. No borders. Julius Malema already said no borders. We are also for the campaign of no borders. So if they want to maintain the border shit, let them do the border shit. We don't want we don't want no South Africans crossing no Zimbabwe border, no Zambian border, Botswana border, Namibian border, no South Africans. How can you be killing our brothers like that? We're not happy. We're not happy at all. No killing. No killing. No killing. Don't want them to see. When they used to suffer, we used to welcome them. We used to welcome to these countries. But today, they are doing uh, shit things. We don't want that. And we're going to do it. We want to take... Ah, this is real gym, sir.
real gents, huh? This is happening right now at Mandel. This shit is going down. President of Ghana, um, John Dramani Mahama, also passed a comment, and this is what he had to say about this whole situation going on. Before they gained their freedom, the whole of this continent stood behind South Africa. The whole of Africa stood behind South Africa to fight against apartheid. I remember all of us growing up as secondary school children you know went on marches were part of the african youth command we demonstrated we boycotted classes and all that all in the fight against uh, apartheid indeed for several of the countries where the their, their citizens have been brutalized in south africa these are countries that were called frontline states that harbored the freedom fighters you know of south africa and gave them safe haven gave them passports happened before they gained their freedom. There's this South African lady that released this video, a very sensible video, and she spoke so much sense because the people, the foreigners that you're trying to chase, they are those who are taking care of you at the hospital. Because according to her, um, most of the doctors in SA are from Nigeria. So now, if you're saying Nigeria should leave, if you fall sick now, who are the doctors going to take care of you and all this stuff? L just watch her video and see the sense in the video. Tomorrow you are knocked down by the car. You go to Tembisa Hospital. Have you gone to Tembisa Hospital? Ekurulen? Have you seen all Nigerian doctors that are there? That hospital is packed. Nigerian doctors. They left Nigeria, came to South Africa to save lives. Hmm? To save all your stupid asses. They're in that hospital. You are knocked down by the car. You went, you go to that hospital. You're crying. Causing a scene, making noise everywhere. Help me, help me. Where's the doctor? Call the doctor. Which doctor? The one from Nigeria. The one you're saying that she must leave your country. <laughs> you're busy sending out CVs to corporate wealth, big companies. You want to be employed by all those white people from England, from Greece, from the UK, ne? from the United States. Because they give you high salaries house allowance, car allowance, and medical aid, yet they are foreigners. So all those people must leave your country hmm? so that you must remain, all you South Africans, without metrics, <laughs> without businesses, without money, without houses. you even hungry. You can't feed your families. You're burning those Pakistan shops just to get a pack of milli mil hmm? and a tin of jam. That's what you're running after. Go to those shows, break in, go to have a tin fish. Hmm? Chasing away people that are making sure, go to Lalu Hill. Hmm? Lama kule nwa, enwa toshayo. Lawe ni agu onyo kolo tisa. Kolo tisa tamati. Nwa tosha na msa njuku tipa hambe. Guys, South Africans, as we all know, that like most South Africans are stupid. But now we've proven it, like isa itempe, la se yawa kombu kuti as in, we're not only mad, we're not... Finally, the South African president had to pass a comment about this whole thing going on, and this is what he had to say. We used to have a meeting uh, at the hostels with the Indunas because this violence is now mutating and taking different forms that uh, 
uh, represent themselves in a way that we do not want to see in South Africa where communities uh, seem to be attacking one another. Uh, so we want this to stop and I want it to stop immediately. The people of our country want to live in harmony and whatever grievance and concerns that people have, we need to handle it in a democratic way. We need to handle it by discussing concerns and problems that we may have. And we've done so very well in the past on a number of other very difficult issues. And this is precisely what we should continue doing. So there is just no justification whatsoever for any South African to go out of their way to attack people from other uh, countries. We need to act in a way where we give respect to people from other countries and uh, show them that they are welcome to be in our country. We need to deal with our own problems in a way where we sit down and discuss those issues with the various structures that we have. If we cannot accept a uh, sense that South Africans do not welcome uh, Africans or other people from other countries. We cannot do that because we are welcomed uh, in other countries. Right now, we are part of the whole continent uh, having inaugurated the F Africa Free Trade Area Agreement. So our drivers are now going to be afraid to drive vehicles uh, in other countries. And there's just no justification whatsoever uh, for people who f have a sense that their jobs are being taken by people from foreign lands to attack them, to destroy properties, and uh, actually to kill them. This must be stopped. Honestly, with this whole thing going on, I just wish like um, God could just pause Africa like everybody should just come to a standstill like can we just pause everyone should just pause because there's too much drama going on and with everyone trying to take actions into their own hands and all those things this is not going to help like can everybody just stop and let's 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 deal with this whole thing and like let's just resolve this whole issue and move forward because the way things are going like i don't just want this thing to result in something serious like it's already serious but i don't want it to become a war or it's like i don't know it's the way things are going i'm afraid i'm just i'm just afraid i just hope Every, everything will just come to a pause and we resolve everything then we go back to being united africa and all this stuff like everyone should live in peace and harmony come on we are all africans you should love your fellow brothers and sisters and we are not the enemy here so south africans need to chill and they need to reevaluate um their thoughts and realize that uh, their fellow africans are not the cause of their problems and um killing us is not the best thing to do you're killing your own brother you're killing your own sister and does that sound right to you does that sound okay so guys um before you leave make sure you give this video a thumbs up and um leave your comments below let me know your thoughts and what you think about this whole thing going on and make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave um for consistent content from me so see you in my next video